Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I hope your day is off to a great start so far. I have a massive Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. I went to three different Dollar Trees over the last week and let me tell you guys, I found the best stuff. There's a huge variety of things in this haul. I'm pretty sure I have covered every section of Dollar Tree and every aisle in this haul. So there's going to be something for everyone. I have some name brand beauty. I have some new crafting supplies, some things for the home some Halloween decor, some fall things, just a huge variety of stuff. So grab yourself a snack, a beverage, get cozy. Let's get started with this haul. I'm going to start with the new things that I found in the crafter's square section, starting with these little truck cutouts. Now these aren't wood, but they are a very thick, sturdy material. They're calling these truck plaques. So I picked up two of them, and then I also picked up this metal or galvanized tin crate because I wanted to maybe do a little DIY with this and maybe glue this little crate to each side of the truck and then maybe put like pumpkins or Christmas trees, maybe change it out, probably paint the truck red or blue. I think that would be a really cute DIY. So I found these in the crafter square section along with these metal plaques. I picked up three of them and they have that galvanized look to them with like the fan fold. And these are pretty large. I would say these are bigger than six by six, maybe eight by eight. I'm not exactly sure, but I did pick up three of them for some Christmas DIYs and each of them have a little hanger in the back, little eyelet that you can hang them. These are going to be perfect for crafting and they are bendable. So you could also maybe bend these, make a vase or something out of them. You just need some maybe E6000 glue. So I picked up those. And I also found some Cricut tools in the Crafter Square section. I've been hauling the vinyl, I think over the last several hauls. And then I finally found the weeding tool, which looks just like the Cricut tool. And then I also found the scraper. I actually think for a comparison, a side by side. So here is the Cricut tool. And then here is Dollar Trees. I mean, even the color is almost exactly the same. Here is the scraper next to Cricut. I'm so excited about these next few items because they have been on my wish list for a while now and one of my Dollar Trees finally got them in the peel and stick wallpaper sheets. And I found several patterns. I picked up two of this one because I just think it's going to be perfect for crafting. These are 11 by 16 sheets and I didn't find these with the craft, like in the crafter square section. These are by Main Street Wall Creations. So I found this where all of the other wall decals were from this brand at Dollar Tree. In my Dollar Tree, it is in kind of the at the end of the tool bench section is where I found these at. So I found this pattern. How fun and beautiful is this? I found this one. These are just going to be amazing for crafting. You can easily cut out however much you need and put it on a piece of wood decor. And then this pattern. But this one is definitely my favorite. I can't wait again to do some Christmas crafts with these. So picked those up and I found some new stickers by Crafters Square. I love hauling the stickers. I'm just going to quickly go through these. I found some food pop-up stickers and then a cat sticker sheet. And I believe I found a two dog sticker sheets as well. And I think, yeah, these are all the pop-up style. So a little dimension. And then this cute little dog set. 
And these easily go three to four dollars at a Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Like the same kind of stickers. It's just crazy. And I love the macaroon and the peace sign on this. Some more cats. These ones are super cute. And then we have some ice cream cones and cupcakes with animals. Adorable. And I give a lot of these to my daughter. I actually just donated. I went through all of my stickers and I gave my daughter's teacher a like a huge stack of stickers from Dollar Tree for their um, treasure prize box. So I end up using a lot of like the rub on transfers and like the more vintage style of stickers from Dollar Tree for my journals, but fun ones like this, I usually end up giving to my daughter or again, donating. So I found this one, which I actually might keep for myself just because I love the little coffees on it. And then I found this one and the popcorn on here is my favorite. And along with the stickers, I also picked up my daughter a binder and it has this really beautiful floral elephant or mandala elephant pattern on it. And when I was a kid, I used to have a sticker binder and I would just collect stickers and put them on sheets and I'd like to flip through and look at all of my stickers. So I thought I'd pick this up for her and she can make her own little sticker binder with all of the stickers that I haul from Dollar Tree. So I thought that would be a cute idea. So I picked up that for her and I have a few Halloween items. I was so excited to find these wooden yard decor stakes. I didn't think I was gonna find them. I've seen them on several Dollar Tree haul videos on YouTube and I didn't think we were gonna get them. And I finally found them. This one is my favorite, the pumpkin. He does have a pop-up detail with his mustache. The cat does as well on the hat. And then the skeleton, they have like this vintage look to them, which I find so darling. And if you didn't like to use these for, if you don't want to use these for um, yard decor, you could always pop them off, maybe put them in a center of a wreath, or maybe make your own little DIY decor. But I will say that if you are using these for, um, their intended purpose to use outside for yard decor, I would definitely spray them down with a clear coat, a clear weather coat of some sort, just because these easily get warped um, from the weather, from moisture, and then also sun really fades these little yard decor signs from Dollar Tree. So that's just my little tip to preserve the look of them, but I'm so excited that I found those. And I found some Halloween socks some men's Halloween socks. So I found Dracula and these are all sizes six to 12. I found some ghosts and gravestones and then my favorite, which are the bats. And then I also found a little fall truck with pumpkins. And along with these socks, I also picked myself up these no show socks also by the Juncture brand. And I didn't realize these at first, but these are actually men's socks. I think the men's have the blue label, but I'm glad I picked them up because these actually fit me perfectly. I've already worn a black pair and I wear a size 10 shoe and these fit me perfectly. These fit my feet, they're very comfortable. And just in general, the men's socks seem to fit me way better than the women's socks. So I'm just gonna keep buying the men's sizes. I found the most adorable little soap dispensers for Halloween. And I found these on a glass display in the front of my store. Usually they put little trinket trays and little glass decorative vases and things like that. That's where I found these. And if you've been with my channel for a while, last year, I was a little upset that I wasn't able to find the Christmas soaps. They never came to our stores. And so when I saw these going around on different 
haul channels. I was like, there's no way we're gonna get those. We never got the Christmas soaps and then I found them and I'm so excited. And I'm pretty sure there's other um, little pieces to this collection or different dispensers, but this was all I found and I'm happy with just the ghost. And if you don't like the little face, you can turn it around and make your own with a Sharpie. These are coconut lime scented, which I thought was kind of interesting because that's not really a fall scent. That's more of a summer scent, but let's see. It doesn't smell bad, but again, it's just not a fall scent. I would have preferred a, um, a more pumpkin or spice scent to this, but you could also just refill it with any soap that you like. But I thought these were adorable. I snagged two of them for each of my bathrooms. So really excited about those. I needed some spider webs to decorate my front porch. These come with the little spiders. These aren't the glow in the dark webs. I think they also sell the glow in the dark ones, but I just wanted plain spider webs. And I think that was it for the Halloween items. I did pick up a couple packs of paint brushes in the tool bench section. I picked up an eight pack of the foam brushes and then this little three pack for um, DIYs. And my little tip for um, these foam brushes, they also sell foam brushes in the crafter square section. And I believe you only get six in that pack but if you go to the tool bench section of dollar tree they sell them in an eight pack so try to get those if you can from the tool bench section they came out with the most gorgeous print this year for the thanksgiving plates and napkins look how beautiful this is you guys you get 18 plates in the small pack and then six in like the large turkey dinner plate is what i call these so you'd probably need to buy multiple packs if you're having like a big Thanksgiving dinner. But I purchased plates that looked very similar to this last year from Hobby Lobby and they weren't a dollar. I mean, granted, I did get more in a pack, but they I think were like six dollars for a pack of like 12 or 16 plates or something like that. And then I also picked up the matching set of napkins and then you get 20 in here but these are so gorgeous there was one other print i wasn't a fan of that one because it, it, it just had a one single sunflower in the middle and i was like eh, i'll pass but this one so beautiful it almost looks like a watercolor pumpkin print so beautiful so i picked up those and i can't go into a Dollar Tree without coming out with some sort of jar or <laughs> candle vase. I found these huge, gorgeous pumpkin or squash gourd <laughs> glass vases. So I found it in orange and then I just found a clear one. These are huge, massive. These would look really beautiful um, in maybe a tiered tray or something like that. So picked those up. And I also picked up these massive jars. Now I did fill it up with protein powder. I actually um, did a whole set for my kitchen or my pantry staples, like my flour, sugar, things like that. And I actually posted that little video on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I do sometimes post um, small DIY or quick little craft um, videos on there. So that's what I did with these Dollar Tree jars that I picked up this last week. And I just think they look awesome. I just cut the labels with my Cricut and put them on there. This project took me maybe 15, 20 minutes to do. And I just love how huge these are, you guys. These are the biggest jars that I've ever seen come through Dollar Tree. I also found these adorable glass mason jar cups in these two colors and prints with the buffalo check. The only thing that I wish was different about these is if maybe they just used a solid color straw um, because the stripes and then the buffalo check don't really go together, but you could of course just switch out your own straw. But these are perfect if you are a Cricut crafter or if you like to resell um, things that you make with your Cricut, you could do a whole little set of these. I picked up four of each 
of these. So that's what I'm going to do with those. Now let me show you guys some kitchenware things that I found. I found all of these utensils with this beautiful marble handle on them. So I think these were all of them that I picked up. And the quality on these are so nice. And I've always wanted matching utensils, but I've never had matching utensils. I just always have just random pieces that I've picked up over the years. I've never actually had like a, a matching set before. So I went ahead and picked these up. These are beautiful. These would be perfect for a housewarming gift if maybe you did like a whole baking um, gift basket or something for a housewarming gift. These would be really beautiful for that. I love when Dollar Tree comes out with these decorative trays, usually around the holidays. These are gorgeous, such great quality. This is the second time I've actually purchased the gold one. I'm using one of these in my bathroom. I have three jars and I have some cotton swabs in there and some um, cotton balls and cotton rounds in there. And it's just a really beautiful way to display bathroom jars. So I picked up another one because I want to do maybe a holiday centerpiece and maybe put some decorative jars or something on them. These ones actually fit perfectly, by the way, the little pumpkin vases. And then I found this Buffalo check one, which was also very beautiful. And they have matching charger plates for this Buffalo check as well. So I picked up those and I found the cutest little cosmetic bags with some cheetahs. So I found this one and this one. I picked these up for my daughter. Um, we are, I guess, pass holders for the San Diego Zoo and she likes to collect all the little pressed pennies from the little machines. So I thought these would be cute to maybe... Um, give her so she can take it around the zoo and put all of her little pressed pennies in. I think I'm going to decal this with my Cricut and put her name on it, but I just picked these up for her. I thought that was a cute idea. All right, since I just showed you guys some cosmetic bags, let me show you the rest of the things that I found in the cosmetic area of Dollar Tree. I found a ton of e.l.f. products this week. I found some lip glosses and the packaging is beautiful on these. So I found Tropical Fruit Punch and Strawberry Daiquiri, and it's really hard to see because of the package glare, but they're almost the exact same color, but I think I'm going to hold on to these for maybe like a stocking stuffer or something for Christmas. I love this packaging. It's so beautiful. So I found those by e.l.f., and then I also found this Workout Ready Hydration Stick. And it just says to twist up the stick and glide onto skin like the face, hands, or elbows with upward motion. Blend with your finger. Um, it says the breathable performance formula is sweat resistant, won't clog pores to keep up with the active beauty lover. So it's like a primer stick, I'm guessing. So I found that from e.l.f. I found a couple of makeup brushes. So I found a powder brush, mineral powder brush, and then a small tapered brush by e.l.f. Again, love the packaging. I think these are be, would be perfect stocking stuffers. I also found a highlighter from e.l.f. And this is a jelly highlighter in the shade Bubbly, which is kind of like a champagne color. So I think that was it from e.l.f. Nope, one more thing by e.l.f. I found a detoxifying bubble mask. So you could put together a whole e.l.f. beauty gift basket for someone with all of these e.l.f. products. So found those. I also found a Shea Moisture item. These are African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wipes with Tea Tree Oil and a word that I cannot pronounce. You only get 10 wipes in here, but I love the brand Shea Moisture. I love this brand 
and these are also biodegradable which is really awesome these would be perfect to throw also in a gift basket or in your purse because they're nice and compact so i found that and i also found another face mask this is a clay mask but look at the little application it almost looks like like a wine a wine box or bag or something i just thought it was really cute and so yeah this is by the brand miss spa and just a few more items from the beauty department you guys i found the cutest beauty blender cases travel cases in fruit the strawberry is definitely my favorite i'll probably keep this one for myself and then probably gift these but how adorable are these little beauty blender cases i get the little orange beauty blender by i think real techniques and i've purchased the little travel case a couple of times but i always lose it so hopefully i won't lose this because it's just too adorable so found those and i also found this activated charcoal soap by dr sheffield's and the packaging, I was just immediately drawn to the packaging. I'm like, that looks expensive. Let me look it up. And I think it was around $10 on Amazon. So I picked this up. This would be a great stocking stuffer for my husband. So I think I'm going to put that in there. And we're getting down to the last few items. In the party section, I found all of these cake decorating supplies. So I found... The disposable icing bags, you get 12 of them. And this is by the company or the Dollar Tree brand, Voila, which is the same as like the wrapping paper. I also found the little decorative, here's that lighting again, the decorative tips. So you can do shells, petals, you can do a weave, a star, a ruffle, and then it gives you the patterns that you can make on the back. I suck at baking and cake decorating, but I thought I'd give it a try again. I've actually purchased this kind of stuff before and I actually donated it because I was just so terrible at it. But recently I wanted to decorate a cake and I didn't have the supplies that I donated. So I figured I would try again with the Dollar Tree um, cake decorating set. This is a icing comb set. So you get three different combs in here to do the edging on your cakes. And then I found a tool set. These almost look like little Cricut tools, but they have, I guess, different purposes. You have a knife, a decorating pen, and a large and small ball tool and ruffles thins and ruffles edges of petals and ribbons. So I guess that's what you're supposed to do with these. I was way off with what you were supposed to do with these. So I thought that was amazing, you guys, that Dollar Tree has cake decorating supplies now. That's crazy. They also came out with sprinkles. So I just picked up red and green sugar sugar crystal sprinkles. They had every color except probably one or two colors, but I only picked up red and green for like Christmas cookie decorating, things like that. But how amazing is that, you guys? Dollar Tree's party section already is amazing. Um, I think it rivals Party City or other party supply stores, and now they have cake decorating, cake and cookie decorating stuff. And the very last items for this haul are also from the party section. I found these gorgeous prints for wrapping paper. So I found these flamingos with the polka dots. So gorgeous. I wish I would have found these wrapping papers in the summertime because I feel like I would have used them maybe for a DIY background or something like that. But I'll save them for next year because they're so beautiful. And then I found this monstera leaf print so beautiful 
Love Dollar Tree's party section again because it's just, it's so amazing. All right, guys, so that's it for this massive Dollar Tree variety haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And comment down below what was your favorite item of this haul or what is currently on your Dollar Tree wish list. If you aren't currently subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. Please click that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.